Hey guys, how's it going? Is this not boo? Okay. <laughs> I'm nerdily excited about this shirt. So it's, I think I might've put a picture up uh, or taken a picture on Instagram of some of the Reebok guys that were wearing this shirt. So it's cool. You know, you might be at the front going, it says Reebok on the front, but in the back, can you see? <laughs> it says get after it. That's the hashtag. Isn't it cool? I don't know why. I'm so nerdily excited. Actually, now that I'm looking at this on here, it actually looks like it's blue, but it's uh, purple. And the other funny thing is, this shows a couple of reasons why I never uh, wear short sleeve shirts. I'm always wearing tank tops. Um, well, two reasons. Number one, in this lovely hormonally imbalanced phase of my life, um, because I'm hot all the time, I I would normally not wear a shirt like this because I'd be so paranoid that I would sweat. Um, welcome to my world. But the other thing is, is you know, short sleeve shirts tend to kind of ride up over my my biceps, um, and that tends to be a problem that I not a problem. It's just it is what it is. A, a lot of they don't make. If I were to be wearing long sleeve shirts um, and stuff like I used to, a lot of the stuff I gave away. Um, like a lot of my twin sets from Ann Taylor and whatever and I was in a this was before before the change it sounds so creepy um, but really before um, this whole like past two years with perimenopause and that's when I gained weight and everything I was in with Ann Taylor I'd wear like extra small in tops um, and in my bottoms I was wearing like an eight at my smallest, I was in a six. I've never been one of those chicks that was in. I don't know who these people are that wear a size zero, stuff like that. I don't think I've ever, other than when I was in diapers, wore a size zero. Um, so yeah, like my smallest size is, that I know of, the smallest size that I've been in, it's been a six. I think that I was briefly in a size four when I was uh, in college, and um, that's after I had mono. So, what does that tell you? Having my genetics HD. Oh, I th first I thought that was a black GNC thing. But I was shaking that going, do I need to wash this glass? Um, I love taking this in the morning. I'm addicted to it. You know, you get used to something, but I just love it. So this is the uh, Pro Sculpt. swallow moment there and why do I do this why do I drink and then I have blue tea when I'm talking to you anyway <laughs> and thank God I'm getting my nails done today what time is it I slept in so late today um have a lot to tell you but I slept in so late because I flow shut up late, late last night. Wanted to just sit and chat. Bitch. See the nice cinnamon rim around the glass? I love my coffee. Um, anyway. The other thing I wanted to tell you is, so, oh, and by the way, stay tuned, because a lot of you have been asking about Genetics HD, and the whole line, I'm so paranoid about my blue teeth right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have some exclusive coupons for you so you can go ahead and get yourself some. Uh, but this is what I take in the morning and then I take, because Mike Roussel, our friend Dr. Mike Roussel told me that I needed to take two packets of these, not one, uh, a day. This is the Physio Burn. So I take one of these with lunch, one of these with dinner. And then these are my vitamins that, I, God bless you, Jancy. And I love that it's all in one packet, okay? <laughs> what I still don't get. Why? Why can't somebody make vitamins that, the vitamin part, okay? So not the fish oil, not the <clears throat> magnesium or whatever else it is that I'm taking. Why is it they cannot make the actual vitamin, the multivitamin part, not smell? Let me tell you, if you guys could watch me when I take this every day, 
And I take it because it's worth it, okay? When I take vitamins, I don't get sick. I don't need to get the flu shot every year. I don't get um, repeated, or if I do start to get a cold, if I start to get run down <clears throat> and get sick, one day I can turn it around. Like if I just go to bed early, just you know, chill out, get some rest, stop working, I can turn it around. I take um, Zycam and I'm, I'm better the next day, which Zycam is essentially zinc. But why? Why? It's not TNC, it's every, Ooh, look at this rat's nest. Why can't they make it so that you don't smell it? That's the worst part of taking vitamins, is when you take that multivitamin, you go like this, and then the smell comes and you're like, so I literally sometimes will, like you should see, I'll usually have my coffee and stuff, and I'm like, get a different taste in your mouth. Like it's all, I work up this whole thing so that I don't have to actually hopefully smell. Because if I get a whiff of that, there's a major gag re reflex going on. And it's not, this is not a GNC thing, it's a vitamin thing. I just don't understand with science the way it is today. Genetically modify it, I'm just kidding. I just happened to be in a chat about genetically modified foods last night, so it's on my brain. Um, the other thing is, I am, um, I can't quite say, I'll have Dr. Mike explain this on that, uh, Dr. Mike is one of my, he's actually on my Fitfluential advisory board. <clears throat> he's also gonna be doing videos on our Fitfluential YouTube channel, um, where you'll get to you know write in and ask him questions because Mike is so smart and so incredibly knowledgeable that, you know, you and I can go to, to GNC and see GNC and see something like this on the shelf and go, okay, cool, it's protein powder. Mike can go, oh, hold on, you know, and then he'll look at this and he'll be able to tell you, you know, like what kind of protein and how it's going to enter your bloodstream and, you know, I mean, he, this, this scientific stuff he can spurt out just by reading the label on something. I'm usually like this. Okay, but anyway, here's the thing. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, God bless you, I should probably buy you a present for sticking in and not wanting to kill yourself. Um, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I've always had a sensitivity to dairy. And then it was one of you guys, um, probably about, I don't know, a year or so ago, maybe it wasn't that long ago, that wrote in because I was still having, you know, stomach problems where I was walking around going, God, why am I bloated all the time? You know, just, I'm, I've, I've had stomach, a sensitive stomach my whole life, and I don't, you little, there's a squirrel. Yeah, I see you. My window's open in case you're wondering. If he, I will mess you up. I'm, hold on. If he tries to get on my bird feeder, I'm gonna have to go out there. Seriously, I see you. Um, can, I'm just, seriously, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna shoot part two, okay? Hold on, because I'm 